Hello everyone, it's your buddy Sven here, and today I'm coming at you with a new series. This is the League of Legends Champion Profiles, and today we'll be covering Yasuo, the Unforgiven. Now, we're just going to cover the basics of him. We're just going to cover basically how to play him, all that fun stuff. Runes and Masteries will be in the description below, and just overall what I like to take on him. So without further ado, we're just going to go ahead and get into his abilities. We have Way of the Wanderer, which is, pa which is his passive. I'm not going to cover all the math behind everything. If you guys want to see that, go ahead and visit the wiki. Now, his critical strike chance is doubled, but he takes a damage penalty on his crits. Now, he takes a harsher penalty on his Q, but his autos take a very minor penalty. Next up is his uh, second part of his passive, where he generates 1% of his maximum flow when he moves X amount of units. And when he hits max flow, a champion or monster attack will trigger that, which will give him a shield which is based on his level as to how much damage it will absorb. Next up is his Q, Steel Tempest, where he thrusts his sword in the line, and when he hits two of those, he'll get a sound, and then there will be some wind swirling around him, and then he'll send out a tornado instead of it, and the tornado has a little bit extra range. I think it's, I think it's almost double the range of the standard. Now... In order to do that, you just have to hit those two Steel Tempests beforehand, and these can all crit and apply on hit effects. However, um, there, is an all, there is another way to cast it, which is when you use your Sweeping Blade, which is your E, and we'll get to that in a little bit. Um, after using your E and casting it quickly, it, he'll just spin in a circle, which will apply Steel Tempest and get that stack for you. Now, the cooldown of Steel Tempest can be reduced by building attack speed, and it'll scale depending on your bonus attack speed down to a maximum of 66% reduction. It goes down to like a 1.32 second cooldown from a 4. That is a really big difference. Next up, we have Windwall, which is his W. A lot of people know Windwall. Uh, deflects all incoming projectiles, and leveling it up will increase the width. And it does not block turret attacks or some certain range attacks. It's not just an absolute block. You can't just throw it against a Velkaz, and that beam's not going to go anywhere. That thing will rip straight through you. The, co the uh, common remark of when Velkaz first came out was, uh, the question was, does Yasuo's Windwall block? it and the response was not even his body blocks the beam so just keep that in mind sweeping blade um is his little dash around as you guys will often see him do dash is a fixed distance so it'll mark him and then it'll deal magic damage and the speed of it will scale with his bonus move speed and he cannot recast it on a marked enemy the mark lasts from six or ten to six seconds depending on rank and each cast will amplify the damage by 25%, up to 50% bonus, and, the, and that lasts for 5 seconds. So at higher ranks, it's about the mark distance, uh, the mark of the first target, as for the overall duration on that whole thing. And now obviously you can keep that timer going by repeatedly sweeping. Now, your ult is Last Breath. Last Breath um, can only be cast on knocked airborne enemies, and he'll suspend them all for one second and then deal a bunch of physical damage. And then for the next 15 seconds, he'll ignore 50% of their bonus armor, and that'll also clear out all stacks of your Q, so you can't just knock them up the moment you land them on the ground. Now let's go ahead and talk about maxing the skill order. Um, I like to max my E first, which is the Dash Sweeping Blade. All in all, just in my opinion, the best thing to max, the really low cooldown makes it really nice. The ability to dash in and out gives you a lot of mobility, and it'll make you very hard to hit for a lot of top slash mid laners. Now I'd like to max Q second. My reasoning on that is that you don't gain a lot of damage per leveling Q, which is why Sweeping Blade, in my opinion, is the better max. But maxing Q it, second is very important. Maxing Windwall last is kind of the gist of what most Yasuo's will agree on. Um, all it does is increase the width by 150 at the very end of it. Not that big a deal, but you are going to max it by the end of it, obviously. Now, obviously, 6, 11, 16, you're going to put points in the last breath. Now, let's talk about items. I like to rush Static Shiv on him. Uh, you'll see most Yasuo's end up building Static Shiv. Some people will say that they want to build IE first. I like to build Shiv first. Not only is it more affordable, it's a good power spike on Yasuo, and he benefits from both the on-hit, which can proc off of his Q, and every single stat bonus that Shiv gives, he adores. Next up, we'll go into IE. Um, IE is going to amplify his crit damage, give him a lot of attack damage, and some more crit chance. And between Shiv and IE, you are going to have the ability to crit for 100% of the time, meaning your autos and Qs will never not crit. Now, for boots, I like to build these after the two items. You can get boots of speed beforehand, but go into Berserker's Greaves here. And with Greaves, you can either do Alacrity or Fur for the enchantment. Um, I haven't really played around enough with them. I like Alacrity a lot because of the uh, speed of the dash, but that's my own personal preference. 
Next up, you have Bloodthirster, just because Lifesteal is too good on Yasuo. You can crit 100% of the time at this point. Why not have a bunch of Lifesteal coming off of that? Now, this next part depends if you are top or mid, in which you are going to want to build Dead Man's Plate or Lord Dominic's Regards. Lord Dominic's Regards is going to give you a lot of damage in conjunction with your ult. You're going to bypass a lot of armor. And Dead Man's Plate, if you're top lane, is going to give you a lot of extra movement speed, some tankiness, and then that crushing blows deal, which is going to slow the enemy. And overall, Dead Man's Plate is a really good ability, a good item for top lane now, so it is not an ability. But Lord Dominic's is a... Fa- is a definitely suitable item for him mid um i like to play top lane yasuo personally but that's just my own preference now to finish up the build you're going to want to build banshee's veil the ability to negate that first spell is extremely important the magic resist and health that comes off of it is also extremely important banshee's veil just is a really good last item on most champions now for the trinket you're going to want a blue trinket in my honest opinion just because i like the ability to see things and mark those permanent wards and if your enemy team especially this happens in low elo they're really bad about clearing wards just you're going to be able to get a lot of those things out blue trinket does not have a cap as the as to the amount of uh, farsight wards that it could put out so you can just spam this thing on cooldown, basically, which I almost recommend, uh, depending on circumstance, but I do recommend it most of the time. The, your, the enemy team could just let you have, like, ten wards up off of yourself. I've actually had that happen before, and it was really funny, because they just did not want to clear wards for whatever asinine reason. Now, again, runes and masteries are in the description below. Summoner spells. I like to take flash TP if I'm top, and then if I'm mid, I like to take flash and ignite, or possibly flash and exhaust. Exhaust if you're up against someone like a Zed or a Talon who's very melee burst oriented. Ignite against almost anything else, and TP 100% of the time if I'm top lane, because you can get those nice TP realm plays if you've got the sense of yourself to go around it. Now, sorry that there's no gameplay in this. For some reason, the League wants to lag very badly for me if I want to record it with OBS, and that's just unfortunate for me, but that's just how it goes. So hopefully you learned something off of this guide. I'm really excited to get this going, and please, in the comments below, let me know if you have any questions or you have an idea for the champion you want me to highlight next. I don't, I'm going to be putting out one to two of these a week. I am not sure about the days quite yet they may just kind of come when they come but if you want to keep up to the up to date with these and the rest of my videos hit the big red button down below subscribe to my channel you'll see my videos the moment they come out and you this has been Sven I'll see you on the next video take care